Do you have lots of holiday snaps perhaps that are okay, but aren't? Wow! In five minutes you can turn this into this. Let me show you how. Okay, here we are on live and first of all, let me tell you that this isn't my image. I did go to Venice a few years ago. I've got lots of images somewhere, but I can't find them. So I've actually downloaded this off the internet. I actually got this off of Envato Elements. I'll leave a link in the description so you can have a look at this uh, image yourself and have a go, play along, or find another image that's similar. We are gonna be looking at swapping the sky out because obviously this sky is nice, potentially a bit too nice. It was the height of day, so we're gonna add a little bit of drama to this image. We're going to do our initial edits in Lightroom very quickly then go into Photoshop. This is going to give us the best chance we can of swapping the sky out and using the new sky replacement function in Photoshop which is actually really really good. I've been using Luminar 4 up until now and pretty much most of the images I've used uh, recently have all been in, in uh, Photoshop. So we can duplicate the image, uh, that's Control J, go up to edit and then sky replacement and there's a bunch of skies in there i've added some already this is a this is a sky that i've added which i'm not going to be using because i don't think it works quite well with this image it may work with others uh, in my description i have a link to my sky replacement kit the ultimate sky replacement kit go and have a look at that pretty awesome i've got 400 or so high quality skies for you to have a play around with if you so wish and other uh, assets and elements of sky replacement stuff such as suns and stars and all that kind of stuff. Go and have a look at that in the description. So I ended up going into my browser, finding an image that I liked. Malibu sunset, brilliant. And I'm gonna use this one. It doesn't quite work at the moment, but there's a few sliders we're gonna mess around with in a second, which is going to have a massive impact on the foreground uh, color and the elements in the foreground, the gondolas. Uh, I'm gonna scale the sky first, have a play around. You can just drag it and move it around, which is pretty, Pretty awesome, really, when you think about uh, sky replacement in Luminar 4. I don't think you could move the sky like this. You just could flip it uh, or unflip it as such. And that gives us this brilliant mask. We've got a sky mask, and it does a really good job of masking out the foreground. It's fantastic. Uh, Luminar didn't do such a good job. And I'm going to make a check layer at the top here. This is going to be a sort of flattened layer at the top, so I can now turn this to a smart filter object or smart objects so I can use it with smart filters and then go into the camera raw filter love this this is pretty much like Lightroom uh, and it's built within Photoshop but obviously it's got all the Lightroom functions that you would use right, in Lightroom and first of all I'm not gonna do too much here because I'm gonna be taking this back to Lightroom a little bit later, later on but I'm gonna have a play around with the vignette and add a little bit of vignette just here now uh, and then look at the gradual filters these are pretty much the same as what you find in Lightroom uh, but these are pretty cool we can do what we like with these I'm going to mess around with a bit of the color so I'm going to add a, uh, a little bit of it take the exposure away and add a little bit of magenta in the foreground uh, add a little bit of contrast uh, dehaze is uh, pretty awesome look what that does to the, the water pretty fantastic it hasn't really touched much of the uh, the gondolas but it's had some decent color and I'm going to add one for the sky obviously it's added the one I've just added for the foreground I don't want that one so I'm going to change it around a little bit add a bit of dehaze uh, bring the temperature down so we're going to add a bit more blues into the sky which I like and this is giving us like a strip of light through the middle of our image which is going to draw the attention up from the gondolas to the background and the sky hopefully uh, at the end we're going to add a luminance mask which is pretty good uh, because we don't want the effect to uh, happen too much on the buildings just the top of the buildings you see there a little bit darker which means they're not being affected as much luminance masks are massive i've done videos on this before so if you have uh, or want to have a look back on my youtube channel go ahead and uh, you'll find that uh, i talk a lot about luminance masks especially in lightroom and the final color grading i'm going to do here uh, the new color grading uh, tools within Camera Raw and now in Lightroom are pretty awesome and it just depends on your picture. Highlights, mid-tones and shadows independently is pretty damn cool. And then we are going to go back, going to save this, go back to Lightroom and do some final really quick edits 
and you'll see within five minutes I've done this picture from Lightroom to Photoshop back to Lightroom again and I think we've got a pretty damn awesome image to uh, to play around with love that look at that Let's preserve the highlights and I'm gonna go for a 16 by 9 crop you all know that that's my favorite crop for landscape stuff works well with video 2 which is pretty awesome and there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you do, please whack a thumbs up, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video. Awesome guys, stay safe, see you soon, bye.